Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here on the NOFSRL channel and we're here at the Darlington Raceway to qualify for the finale race in the 2019 Craftsman Throwback Series. The finale race, the Southern 400, will be tomorrow right here on the NOFSRL channel bringing a huge event here to the NOFSRL channel, a finale race in a Napa Fan Series. But since there is a lot on the line for this championship, we're going to go ahead and set the starting line up on screen. So you guys don't blame me for rigging it. Not that anyone does that, but uh, there are some people that would. And I just want to avoid it. So here we are. I'm going to set the starting line up for the Southern 410 minute session. Fastest time advances on as your time to start. And this is how they line up in the points coming into the finale race. Jonathan Reigns, the points leader, 191 points towards the championship. John Arndt, who won at Bristol two weeks ago, won his 20th career Napa fan race in that event. Two weeks ago is 13 points behind. Adam Lewis is 18 points behind. Derek Hamill, 22 points behind. They are the only four who really have a shot at winning. The other three here, Riley Sampson, Julius Anderson, and Jesse Turner, 36, 37, and 37 points behind, respectively. They're going to need to pretty much dominate the event and for all those other championship contenders to finish in the back of the field. So only unless the situation does happen to unfold where, hey, those guys are up front and somebody is at the back of the field, when those championship contenders are back of the field, I should say, uh, we really aren't going to focus on those uh, three guys. Those four guys we're really going to focus on if John Art finishes 13 positions ahead of Jonathan Reigns, I don't know where the tiebreaker is going to go because they both have one win. Um, both Jonathan Reigns and John Art have the tiebreaker on Adam Lewis and Derek Hamill. But every position is worth one point, except for first position. And first position, you get, I believe, I'm trying to think here. You're going to get 39 points plus the bonus point for leading a lap, so you get 40 points for winning the race. And if you happen to lead the most laps, you will get 41 points towards the championship. But uh, we will focus on that championship battle when the race goes along. Right now, we're focusing on who starts where for the Southern 400, the finale race of the season. And, of course, we're leading up to Saturday's Mellow Yellow Southern 500. That's going to be a great race in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. We could see a champion crowned over there as well. So we're just going to have to see. Either way, let's go ahead and see where these championship contenders are. There is John Art in the number 60. Currently 10th fastest, now 11th fastest in the number 60 machine. He won the Chick-fil-A Cup Series race here last year, so he knows how to get it done here in the Lady in Black. There's Jonathan Reigns, number 26 machine. And he is currently 33rd. We'll have to see if he can advance his time there. Right behind him is Adam Lewis. I'm a little bit surprised by this one. We really haven't talked about Lewis hardly at all this entire season. Well, all of a sudden, there he is, 18 points behind. With a pretty decent chance of winning the championship, especially if Jonathan Reigns starts where he currently is right now. Moved up to 33rd, but Adam Lewis is 31st, and that is not at all where you want to be starting this race. The other driver, Derek Campbell, you see him right there, 33rd now. It's Adam Lewis is 32nd, and Jonathan Reigns is 35th. So John Art is really the only guy with a decent run, and even he's fallen back to 23rd. <laughs> so we very well could be seeing a situation where Riley Sampson, Julius Anderson, and Jesse Turner happens to find their way up front. And they managed to just get enough points on everybody because all these other guys are at the back of the field. And... One thing I would like to mention, in these qualifying sessions, you're going to see it when we get the Chick-fil-A Cup Series guys out here later on, is that as the session rolls around, the tire wear gets more significant, and it gets harder to get a fast lap in. So if you don't get your fast lap in right away, you're probably not going to get a fast lap in. And how about this? Our points leader, oh, he did move up just a little bit. He's up to 34th, but still deep. Deep, deep in the field for Jonathan Reigns right now. Adam Lewis, 35th behind him. 48, however, did advance his time a little bit. Try to see where Derek Hamill is. He's 21st. Pretty good run there for Derek Hamill, 22 points behind. Let's have to see 
how many positions he can gain on the rest of the field. That's basically all it's going to amount to. And then at the way it's looking, I don't know if any of these championship contenders are going to lead laps. So that makes it pretty simple. Every position worth one point, you get one point for finishing a last in the race and just keeps on going up from there. So we'll just have to see how these championship contenders go through here because you have Derek Campbell there 21st, John Art 24th, Jonathan Reigns 34th, Adam Lewis 35th. And right now the pole sitter is Noah Clifton. Or the... What's the word? I forget the word. I mean, I know what it means, but I can't remember what the word itself is. I really want to figure this out. This is bothering me. Let me try to figure this out here. I can't I can't think of the darn word. Provisional. That's what it is. The provisional pull sitter. Took me a minute to figure that out. I feel so stupid, but whatever. Noah Clifton, currently the provisional pull sitter here in Craftsman Throwback Series, qualifying from Darlington and my guess would be that he would be able to keep that time on the leaderboard and not have any effect. Number four of Dan Park, who won at Charlotte back in May, is second fastest. Alexander Rowe, the 35 of Ian Adams, and the 84 of Matt Tuck. That's currently the top five. Trey Barto in six. Barto's won here in the Turkey Hill Truck Series before. At the number 66 machine, that truck driven by Gatlin, Downey, Casey, Russell, Carter, Friesen, and the number 15 of Zach Winkle. That's the top 10 with our championship contenders. Derek Hamill, 21st. John Art, 24th. Jonathan Reigns, 34th. Adam Lewis, 35th. No change out of our championship contenders, so it looks like it's going to stay that way. And that is where those guys will be starting for the race tomorrow here for the finale in the Craftsman Throwback Series from Darlington. There is Julius Anderson in the number 30. How about Nathan Stapleton? He has just moved his way to the fourth position in the number 62. Unfortunate for Stapleton, who was the points leader at the earlier part of the season. He is not going to have a chance at winning the championship. Won the first race back in North Wilkesboro in May, but unfortunately was not able to keep enough points to stay in the championship hunt heading into this finale race. But he might get a Darlington win. It is possible he could be in victory lane tomorrow. I don't think, too, we've had a duplicate winner this season. The winners that we've had have been Nathan Stapleton, Dan Park. If you want to count the special event we had in North Wilkesboro, Matt Tuck won that event. Ian Adams, 99 of Jesse Turner, Jonathan Reigns, John Arndt, and Shane Lake. Those are the seven winners so far. So seven different winners this season. And there is Shane Lake, who won the last race here in the Craftsman Throwback Series. Got the victory at Talladega for his first career Napa fan win. That was last Thursday when he got that victory. We'll have to see if he can go two in a row to end the season off here in the Craftsman Throwback Series. And I can guarantee you that this series is not going to return. So somebody's going to win the final ever race in this series. Win the final ever championship as well. It's going to be interesting to see who it's going to be tomorrow. And it could very well be John Art in the number 60. Looking for his second ever Napa Fan Championship. And he won the Turkey Hill Truck Series Championship last year. Got a good chance at possibly uh, winning another Truck Series championship here, heading into the next season of the Turkey Hill Truck Series, which begins in two weeks. He's actually now 25th. He's the only driver to change there. Derek Hamill still 21st. Jonathan Reigns and Adam Lewis still 34th and 35th. It's looking like Noah Clifton will lead the field of the green flag for the Southern 400. The finale race here in the Craftsman Throwback Series. A really good run right there for Noah Clifton here in qualifying 28.724. It's a very unique racetrack, the Darlington Raceway. That inside lane is where you want to be through turns one and two. 
Well, more or less, the outside lane is where you don't want to be because there is no grip up there whatsoever. But in turns three and four, the outside lane works a little bit better, and you can actually get the run off the corner, especially later into a run when the tires wear out. This is a very unique racetrack because both turns are pretty much opposite to each other. Three and four, the outside lane is actually pretty much the preferred lane, but the inside lane is definitely the preferred lane through turns one and two. And make all the races this weekend here at Darlington very, very interesting. One of my absolute favorite racetracks to do races at in the 2003, the original Papyrus Darlington Raceway. It's just perfect, in my opinion. Noah Clifton put down a perfect lap to start on the pole for tomorrow's Southern 400. There's out of the lineup. Zach Winkle, Jesse Turner tied. Turner will get the advantage on Winkle for that one. And take a look at the rest of the results right there. I believe that is the only tie. Uh, but we will have to go back and switch that off so that we can get everybody starting in their respective positions. And you will see right there Derek Hamill starting 21st. John Arndt starting 25th. Our points leader, Jonathan Rain, starting 34th. And Adam Lewis comes into this thing 18 points behind. Third in the points, 35th. Not exactly where any of those guys want to start, but that's how they will start for tomorrow's. 56 lap event there will be pit stops as well in the southern 400 so it's going to be interesting to see how those affect the field but either way it's going to be a great race tomorrow 6 p.m eastern time right here on the nofsrl channel we're doing the finale over here kind of get this channel you know back up put something uh, exciting up on here uh for you guys and uh help marty out with his league that's, that's what we're doing this for. Thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations to Noah Clifton for winning the poll here in the final race of the season in the Craftsman Throwback Series. And we will see you guys a little bit later on for the Hers Elimination Series event here. Uh, that will also be here on the NOFSRL channel coming later up. So thank you guys very much for watching. Congratulations to Noah Clifton for winning the poll. And I will see you guys later.